Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man and Base. This is Shay Darkside, what's up? Uh, this episode, we're gonna be tackling Burner Man. So let's begin. Wait, what? Whatever, he just seemed weird in his two different pictures. I'm picky sometimes. Uh, yay, we got a life. Ow, you suck. Uh, the reason I'm doing Burner Man, as opposed to the other three beginners, is because it so happens that, that the Ice Wall is Burner Man's weakness. So that's going to come useful in that fight, as we will see when we get there. Uh, I'm not going to deal with you. Invisible floor, jump over him. Swallow him, and since you can shoot through walls with Mega Man, you can do that and kill him fast. I should have stopped. Keep going. Kill those grasshoppers, and you get some health. Okay, here this area is a little secret. Uh, don't go to your ice wall. And keep going. Oh god. If you ice wall him twice, he dies. Use it as a stepping stone for a CD. Uh, shoot these guys in the back, because the front has a. The front reflects projectiles. Uh. I'm kind of stuck now. Shit. Uh, thing about these guys, this is that they have invisible floors. Easiest way to tell is throw a nice wall, it'll fall through. Um, shoot him in the back. Well, let's see where the floor is. There it is. That CD right there that you see right there? You can't get that yet. It's uh, base related, so only base can get that. Um, how? We will see. Um, the invisible floor is right under that eye, so ow. You just kill it and jump. Shut up, I hate you. That CD is also base related. You can get it right now, but you you waste your spike guard, and I want to keep my spike guard. Thank you. I hate you. Life sucks. And we continue. God, I hate monkeys, or gorillas, or whatever retarded imitation they are. Just shoot through the wall, he can't hurt you. Uh, here, it's a little tricky because they come out of the wall to hurt you. Just uh, time your jump and your slide correctly, and you'll be okay. Uh, it's a little harder with base, because with Mega Man you slide, so it put it makes you duck at the same time. Unlike base, which he dashes, so you can still get hit. It's just a matter of hoping for the best. If you stay still, you can land on that little spot right there, or a disc, and get raped to while doing so. Just rush through this place. You can't do anything about this yet. Ow. That's a disc for base. Uh, over here, you'll enter an area which is accessible only to Mega Man because you have to dash. But there's an icicle in the way, or black ice, whatever that is. 
Uh, can't break that yet, but I will be coming back when you can. Um, the reason why I'm a little hesitant here is because I want to destroy those turrets as soon as possible, like as fast as you can, as fast as I can, because then comes that thing. Ah, that thing shoots a pellet and fire happens. If you touch the fire, you die. Uh, no damage, no guard, nothing. Nothing you can do. You just die. Uh, you want to get the high ground. Ow. And those turret things, they just hold you back. And if you kill as many as you can, from you can see, you can hurry and they won't distract you so much. God, I hate the fire. That basically. Uh, continue along. Uh, now there's two ways of doing that. You can either slide under there and pray for the best so you don't get caught in the fire, or you can be safe but waste some energy, which is what I'm gonna do. Come on. Where are you? There you are. So you're automatically on top, and no risk of fire. Uh, those guys you want to shoot in the head because if you don't, they just get annoying. So here we go. And we get into the boss fight. You see the spike pits? They're crucial. Ow. Ow. That's the basic strategy. I bet you jumped. Uh, just let me die. That was a failure. Okay. So, little explanation. Um, he does different kinds of attacks. Like, he'll jump in the air and then dive bomb you, you just gotta slide out of the way. He'll run back and forth. Since you only have one jump, you're best left at the edge, where you can jump over it, him. Um, he'll throw bombs in the air, if you shoot him, he starts, the fl he starts the wave burner. When he does the wave burner, what you gotta do is back away, use the ice wall and push it towards him. You have to, it'll hurt him, and you can push him towards the spikes for massive damage. Like this. Ow. Are cheated. When he throws bombs, when you shoot him, he kind of gets mad and does the wave burner. Instead, he just kind of stood there, and I'm like, wait, you broke pattern. I don't like that. But you beat him, and you get the wave burner. Some things that you lo that I lost, like a life. Since you have all this money, you know you can spend it any way you want. Uh, and by the way, since you beat Coldman, if you get the exit unit, 
you can just go back and do the the, the farming trick that I showed in episode 2. You can do that whenever you want, just to get money. So yeah. Very useful. So now we're open to Pirate Man. And yeah, his weakness is the wave burner. Go figure. Uh, but yeah, it's a little weird. An underwater realm and his weakness is fire. But yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they created this game, whatever. But yeah, Pyre Man is next. And so we'll tackle him in the next episode of Let's Play Mega Man and Base. This is Shade Darkseid signing out.